Welcome back to Power BI Helpline YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can easily show intermediate sum or subtotals in Power BI column charts or bar charts. If you are visiting here for the first time, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for all such interesting videos in Power BI. With that, let's check it out. So here I have this column chart, and I have kept month and quarter both on its axis, however, there is no such direct feature to show separate column for each quarter along with the months. We will solve this problem with the help of a custom table. In this example, since we are looking for month and quarter both on same axis, first column of the table will include both values, and second column will have the corresponding month names for each quarter. The most important column is going to be the last column which is the sort order column, where, we need to assign the order based on how we want the columns to be placed on our x-axis. We need to sort our first column based on the sort order and connect the month name column to the month name of the date table. This is going to create a many-to-many -many relationship here, but in this case, there will not be any issue or ambiguity due to this setup. Now, I am going to replace the existing month and quarter from date table to the month quarter column of the new table. And as that you can see, the visual is showing the required quarters along with the months but I will create a measure to format the color of these columns so that it will look better. This measure will validate if x-axis has quarters in current context, then it will show different color and for other months it will show different colors. You can apply conditional formatting based on your requirements, for example, if you want to format each quarter and its corresponding months in a color and another set in different colors, you can always do that. You can also format data label and its x-axis based on the measure. As said, I have assigned gray color to the quarters and light gray color for month names, but you can always use hex code for any other color of your choice, which I will show you in this example as well. These techniques are very useful, and we have posted many videos using such custom tables to enable such requirements in Power BI native visuals. Like showing total at the first place of the matrix, showing previous year and forecast in the same column chart and many more you can check it out on the channel, links are there in description below. Thanks for watching, please subscribe to our channel, and post your questions feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.